As I'm editing this, I realize I totally forgot to film an intro, but this is how I junked my car and got myself a new home. This car is the one that started it all. I used to sleep out of this thing for weeks at a time. And this was my vehicle that I lived in when I kayaked. Ugh. Running rough, 253, almost 254,000 miles on her. And it's constantly misfiring with a flashing check engine light. Running super rough. But this thing never let me down. Already taken out everything useful for me. So like I have no shift knob anymore. And this is just a bunch of old stuff in the back. So I literally used to sleep on this pad that's now moldy because it leaked in here. We're gonna take it to the junkyard. Back to where a lot of these parts came from. And that will be the end of it. We're running one last errand with this. I've got some tools that I got to return to Pete. One last job for the old loser cruiser. The car feels like it has so little power, like it's struggling to make it up hills. This is a 98, so it's older than many of you that are probably watching this. Even though it has a misfire, it, it runs, you know, okay for what it is. And I spent so many hours just living out of this thing camping from this thing and going to and from rivers this car did everything i ever asked it to do and really gave its all for for me and yeah i could probably list this car for a little more than whatever the junkyard's willing to give me but i'm running out of time and also i think it's easier bring it to the junkyard and then it's just one and done and the car goes. Let you go, let you go. Let you go, let you go. If we didn't know what we know. Cause when you travel light, some things are left. There was a junkyard near my house that I always used to get parts, and this was going to be the Loser Cruiser's final resting place. Goodbye, little guy. And that's that. She's gone now. It's time to let it go. The next step is, <laughs> I gotta get home. I'm like four miles away from home right now, so. Hopefully I can hitchhike, if not, I'll just walk. I have not had good luck so far. I've had like seven or eight cars come by me, nobody. Which happens, I mean, part of hitchhiking is it just takes time and you never really know. Well, here's another car that looks like it's coming soon. But I really only have like a few miles to go, so like worst case, I just walk the whole thing. Hitchhiking in rural areas is pretty hard as there's just not a lot of traffic. But finally, someone came to pick me up. Oh, almost home. It took a little bit, but I did finally find a ride. I was a little too shy to whip the camera out in front of him, but he drove a Mustang. This guy right there. And that saved me probably a good hour or so of me walking. Kind of sucks because it was such a short distance that like, I'd already walked halfway back, but still, you can barely see the toaster. Worked out perfectly. As soon as I got home, I spent the next few hours frantically packing and moving into my new car. I don't have any footage of this as I was in full on panic mode, but I did make a TikTok. I've been insanely busy lately, getting moved into the toaster. My room is now pretty much completely empty. Just the last few things to pack away and a lot more work to be done in here. Today, I go full time. This feels so surreal. Today's the day. I've got all my stuff packed up in here. There's still a lot that needs to be built out and a lot that needs to be figured out. For example, I don't have privacy curtains yet, but I'll do that tomorrow morning. Everything's packed up. Boats up there, my box with gear, all my bags. 
there's a bittersweetness here, these last moments before I go. And here we go. This first night, I didn't go very far. I just went to the next town over and gathered all my thoughts. This is the first night in the toaster where I'm full-time van life. And I realize it's a little dark and you can't see a whole lot, but I like the setup. It's nice and cozy and I'm super excited for it comes. In the morning, I'll do a full walkthrough, at least as much as I can for this. But yeah, this is, this is amazing. I had some trouble saying goodbye because it's hard to say goodbye to to the home that created who you are, if that makes sense. I was really lost two and a half years ago when I left the military and had a lot of time struggling to adapt back to the civilian world and Whitewater has helped with that. But also living at 1906, the 1906 that house has made me the adult that i am it's not a forever goodbye i'll be back i'll still guide in the area i'll still see you all tomorrow morning i'll need to make privacy cutouts because i still haven't made privacy cutouts it's something i keep putting off for whatever reason but i have to tomorrow i can't get away with having just windows wide open to the public and i need a way to secure some of the stuff i have on the roof rack and after that, really, honestly, I think that's kind of it. Just getting into the swing of living this and feeling about how the space is. And if I need to ship some things around, I'll ship some things around. The journey has just started, and I know it will be a difficult one. But I look forward to all the challenges and adventure that lies ahead. Forgot an outro as well, but like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Two of those cars that passed me were actually cops and they didn't stop.